hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that right. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. The power that raised Christ from the dead. Every door that has been closed over your life and over your destiny. I speak to that door now. In the name of Jesus, be opened. In the name of Jesus, be opened. Doors of opportunity be opened. Doors of opportunity be opened doors of seasons be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for you that there be an impartation of the spirit of wisdom wisdom like you have never seen let that grace rest upon you now let that grace rest upon you now let that grace rest upon you now wisdom in ministry wisdom in business wisdom in finances wisdom in leadership in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a grace that brings speed when isaac when isaac met jacob disguising to be esau and said how come you have brought the venison so quickly he said it is because the lord has brought it to me there are things men look for but there are things god can bring to you in the name of jesus i pray for you may the god of all grace bring speed to your life speed in ministry speed to your accomplishments 10 years in one year 10 years in one year by the spirit of the living god 10 years in one year that by this time next year you'll be 10 times better 10 times better i place grace upon your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ he said by you i can run through a troop by my god i can leap over a wall i declare strength the Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, it is because your strength is small. Man of God receives strength. Strength by the Spirit. Strength for the journey. Strength in business. Strength for the remaining months of the year. In the name of Jesus. Esther chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 the Bible says while the virgins were being prepared to see the king so that he would choose a bride from them verse 9 it says the young woman Esther pleased the king or pleased Haggai and she obtained favor the proof that she had favor was that he readily gave her KJV says he speedily gave her. Let me tell you the truth. Answers have timing. Not every time is convenient for every answer. There are answers that come too late. He says satisfy me early with your mercy. I'm still praying speed over you. In the name that is above all names. As an expression of the favor of the Lord. I pray for you. Speedy answers. Speedy manifestations. Speedy answers speedy manifestations speedy answers speedy manifestations in the name of jesus christ there are four kinds of men you will always need in your life number one divine connectors they do not have what it takes to help you but they know who has what it takes to help you number two men of influence they have built a track record and their credibility and their endorsement can become a leverage an advantage for your acceleration number three gifted men their assignment is to bring efficiency to your system 
Number four, burden bearers. They don't move you forward. They stop you from going backward. If you lack these four kinds of men, you will fail woefully in life. Destiny actualization is highly men dependent. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the one who has shown men mercy, that these four categories of people, beginning from tonight, may they show up in your life. May they show up in your life. Divine connectors, may they show up in your life. Men of influence, may they show up in your life. Gifted persons, may they show up in your life. Burden bearers, may they show up in your life. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayers and we're done. I believe in the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I don't know what you have been taught about the Holy Spirit. But ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. The Bible calls the Holy Spirit a helper. The helper, that paraclet, is not a Pentecostal phenomenon. You can fail alone, but you and the Holy Spirit make an invincible team. An invincible team. Many of you have not been trained to appreciate and to recognize the ministry of the Holy Spirit. We have reduced him to falling down and just miracles, but there's more. He says, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, that he will guide you. Even though you have truth, you have to be guided to use truth as a weapon for your profiting. Satan can use truth to kill you. You can fall in error because of truth. Truth is a weapon. It can be used by both Satan and God. Just because you have truth does not mean it will profit you. You need to be guided into all truth. That you use truth like a weapon and produce from it a life of victory. I want to pray for you that something will happen to your relationship with the Holy Spirit. And you don't have to be a man of God. Truly, he's the advantage that was given to the believer. The one who turns ordinary men to be signs and wonders. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you will enjoy a rich walk with the Holy Spirit from tonight. In the place of prayer, in the place of fellowship, in the place of worship, may you hear his voice with clarity. May he guide every step in your life, bringing you guidance, bringing you direction, causing you to triumph in ever increasing dimensions that through him you will manifest through your life the glory that excels ever increasing glory in the name of Jesus Christ ever increasing wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ ever increasing glory in the name of Jesus Christ there is a way out of everything there is a way out of everything I'm going to request that you lay your hands on your head and for the next two or three minutes, please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I desire a testimony. Let it be clear that I met you tonight. Someone pray. Let it be clear that I met you tonight. Let it be clear that I met your power tonight. Let it be clear that your wisdom has rested upon me tonight. Let it be clear that you heal through my life. I know you heal, but Lord, give me an evidence, a token tonight outside pray let it be clear through my life that you still anoint men let it be clear through my life that you still lift burdens let it be clear through my life that you still cause men to remember men let it be clear through my life that a book of remembrance can be opened a preacher pray a tired mother pray a tired father pray someone in debt pray 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 Pray. Someone tired of curses, tired of demonic operations, pray. You came here to receive. You came here to receive. Sali kapelando salakafata malakata. Leprakata belegata paratos. Let it be clear through my life that you can place fire upon a man let it be clear through my life that your favor can speak in the life of a man let it be clear through my life that you restore let it be clear through my give me the experience of the world that i become a living epistle after this miracle service
One more minute, you are praying across the globe. Make sure you pray. Release your heart, release your faith, knowing that God is the only helper, the only one who can help men. Longevity of help resides only with the God of the Bible. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. Number two, you must have defined expectations. I'm helping to give definition to your expectations. Number three, you must believe in the Lord and believe in his servant. Believe in the Lord and believe in the vessel that he will use. Number four, be prepared to take actions of faith, actions of obedience. You're receiving the manifestation of God's promises is faith dependent. Insist, I must walk away with a testimony. A testimony of breakthrough, the help of men, deliverance, rising, lifting, a job, promotion, fresh fire upon my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Rise up on your feet now please. Hello him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello him Adonai, thy kingdom come. Hello, him I don't By the word to know how to receive you will see how easy it is for the power of God to touch you because once faith is there now you understand what to do you make the assignment easy for the Holy Spirit to reach you and give you testimonies hallelujah I'm going to ask you to bring all those under the anointing will be very very fast very fast you're not shouting you're not doing anything the power of God is going to begin to move please let me have those people here it's not a deliverance happening to them. There is a kind of impartation that God is bringing. And I want you to bring them out. I will pray deliverance shortly afterwards. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you're revealing this to me, I'm praying that everyone, I'm seeing like oil from a bottle just flowing on the ground. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must drink of that oil, that, that oil that sets you apart for some producing favor, for some rewriting your destiny in the name of Jesus. Please, very quickly, let me have them out. Inside this auditorium, outside, everywhere, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it rest on people right now. Let it flow to you. Let it flow to you. For someone is bringing ease to your life. You've gone through hardship. Hardship. This is what God is taking out of your life. This cause of hardship. This yoke of hardship. Cause of hardship. Yoke of hardship. The cause of hardship. There are families who have gone through this. In the name of Jesus, God is able to give men rest. I pray that this oil will flow to you right now, outside, inside. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it flow in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised at the things that begin to happen to you. Some of you, even from this service right now, before the service is done, miracles, miracles, supernatural manifestations of God's power.
in the name of Jesus I'm seeing stones I believe this represents altars I want to pray now I'm seeing stones in the name of Jesus if there be anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of ancestry activities of darkness altars and yokes manifesting in your dreams stopping doors of favor cutting short the ministry of helpers you are going to shout the name jesus and let that fire rest upon you and consume every altar are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus i cause every altar i cause every altar in the name of jesus by the blood by the blood of the eternal covenant by the blood of the eternal covenant i arrest every spirit tying down lives i arrest every spirit tying down families you give way now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing uh, the, the spirit of heaviness there's a, there's a manifestation of that spirit in the bible now you'll be given a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i don't know who that is but an anointing is coming upon you that spirit of heaviness manifesting as depression manifest as suicidal thoughts in the name of jesus now i declare let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken now the spirit of heaviness be loose from it right now hallelujah i'm seeing the vision of a gentleman and others are walking forward but what i'm seeing in my vision is you are walking backward this is what i'm seeing not that you are looking back you are walking back while others are going forward this is what i see you know let me tell you backwardness is a curse because the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light you can be backward in ministry in cream uh, i mean progressive decline if i will use that expression that means there is no day that is ever better than the previous one no all your yesterdays are always better than your tomorrows i want to cause that spirit right now anyone here jesus the spirit of backwardness responsible for retrogression financial retrogression responsible for ministry responsible for the decline in families i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now. hear me the lord is saying i should tell someone there is an explanation as to what killed your father there is an explanation as to what killed your mother there is an explanation as to what is killing the men in your family i decree and declare any programming from hell that after every season somebody must die as a sacrifice die by witchcraft or by accident i decree and declare right now let fire from heaven my god fall upon every altar every altar fueling death every altar fueling death every altar foiling death be destroyed now in the name of jesus christ Rande bele so pratis ka vira tu si la capria gata baladi. Emele no kata frasca bele ge balados. Hallelujah. The Bible says, do not let your good be evil spoken of. The Lord wants to minister to someone. There is nothing good you do that is perceived as good. It's like there is a covering cast on you, and people always misinterpret what you do. Always whether it's in the place of work whether it's in the house of god 
anything good you do it is always misinterpreted i pray for you every covering cast on anyone misrepresenting you making you look evil whereas you are good making you look dishonest whereas you are honest i tear that veil now 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 hallelujah the Lord is speaking to me about someone. You are always afraid of good things because they never last. It's like there is a curse in your family. Nobody celebrates longevity of good things. If you rejoice over a job, death will come and cancel the story. If you rejoice over a child that is born, another tragedy always comes to cancel what God is doing. I want to pray for that person. Not everybody. But there's someone here and that anointing will come upon you as i pray in the name of jesus whatever makes evil to outlive good whatever make the testimony of god's faithfulness to die prematurely over your family i come by this anointing and i come by this mantle right now in the name of jesus be delivered now be delivered now A guitar, please play the strings. The Lato Savlia Kasha Brandi Gibalato Skiata. You always return to your parents' homes after you marry. It's a spirit, nobody stays successfully in marriage. It something must happen. Either a quarrel with your spouse, either whatever it is, is a demonic enchantment in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for someone right now. Release your faith as I pray. There is a lady, I'm seeing you, you are from Edo State. This is what happens to your family. Nobody, either they get pregnant outside of wedlock or even if they make it to marriage, it's only as if they just went for an excursion, they return back. You are from Edo State. The power of God is touching you. Where is that lady? If, is there someone like that? You are from Edo State. This, this is what happens to your family. In the name that is above all names. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Where are you from? Edo State. Yes. How many are you in your family? Six. Yes. Are they married? Yes, sir. My, my other sister have four children for four different men. Four children from yes, four sir. different men. Yes, sir. Something will just happen and they will send her back home. Something will happen and the men. Oh, she married four different men. Yes, sir. And had children and they sent her back yes, home. Sir. That's all right. That's okay. The Bible says even the lawful captives. Don't be too quick to condemn people, though. There are influences that move people even the lawful captives what god says to one he says to all i want to use this my dear sister as a point of contact if there is any spirit that says you will not enjoy your home that you will be there and be driven away like a fugitive in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy spirit that yoke is hereby broken 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 hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady i don't know if it's you or your sister you've had like three or four people die children you give birth but they die either they come out a stillbirth or maybe some kind of premature experience this is this is children dying if there's such a person let me speak to you else we'll just continue in the name that is above all names is a spirit either you give birth to a child and then the child dies you see that by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare whatever eats up children to make sure that you don't deliver look up the bible says i saw a mystery in heaven and that mystery was a woman who was pregnant with a man child 
she was about to give birth and he said a dragon came from nowhere and stood just waiting for her to give birth so that she would eat the child a child may mean a physical child but a child may mean a vision a child may mean anything that comes out of you a product of your sacrifice and creativity i pray for you every demonic thing waiting to eat up your sacrifice your sweat and even physical children by the blood of the eternal covenant that agreement is hereby cancelled that agreement with hell is hereby cancelled that agreement with hell is hereby cancelled that agreement with hell is hereby cancelled that the answers be delivered to your people speedily may it come to pass that the sickness is finally gone may it come to pass that the job has arrived may it come to pass that the baby has finally arrived may it come to pass that the visa finally came out may it come to pass that the relocation worked may it come to pass that the promotion happened may it come to pass that the cancer is gone may it come to pass that you now own your home may it come to pass that abuja has opened up for you whatever is consistent with god's desire as represented in this request i declare speedy answers the prophetic word for you over this this request is that it will come to pass in jesus name we pray lift your hands to receive the blessing i pray for you in the name that is above all names doors open koinonia receive it doors open every nation that has rejected you not after this service i decree and declare let the gates be open for you i say it again every nation that has rejected you not after this service in the name of jesus let the gates be open for you whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper by prophecy i shorten the distance between you and your helper by prophecy i shorten the distance between you and your helper i shorten the distance between you and your helper in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare everyone who forgot you may they remember you tonight not tomorrow may they remember you tonight may they remember you for good may they remember you for kindness may they remember you for promotion may they remember you for lifting May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has said, where is your God? May this week be their answer. From Monday to Sunday, let there be testimonies that show where your God is. In the name of Jesus. And any covenant with hell, with the grave, with the spirit of death, we severe that covenant now. Let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry. May your hands be strengthened. That this remaining part of the year, you will wax valiant. You will do ministry with power. You will bring great glory to the name of the Lord. Let me pray for a family here. In spite of what may be happening around the nation, I pray for you. May a mark of exemption land on your head. A mark of exemption let it rest on your head in the name of Jesus if you must travel no accident if you are in the air no plane crash I decree and declare you must travel let the angels go before you clearing out wicked men from the road in the name of Jesus I pray for your children you will not hear bad news you will not hear they've joined or called groups you will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others in the name of jesus your portion in this abuja let it be delivered to you your portion in nigeria let it be delivered to you your portion across the globe let it be delivered to you in the name of jesus i prophesy no more delay no more delay for your job no more delay for your papers no more delay for your children no more delay let me pray over your spiritual life 
fresh fire on your prayer altar shout amen fresh fire on your prayer altar you are loving jesus with all your heart serving jesus with all your heart i declare the grace for the study of the word let it rest upon you i separate you from wicked people i separate you from evil people in the name of jesus you will not beg for food to eat let strangers be sent by god to help you in the name of jesus in your place of work good news this week i say it again in your place of work good news this week in your business enjoy good news this week whatever you're waiting for it arrives speedily in the name of jesus in one minute i felt stirred in my heart the one thing you want god to do for you i know you wrote a lot of things here but i'm releasing my faith with you the one thing there may be many things but there might be one thing you are crying and saying lord visit me you are the only one who knows whether you are outside in the next two minutes please i want you to pray i'm releasing my faith with you and you will watch the god of wonder surprise you you go shake away unbelief and go ahead and pray impossible situations don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered ask for something that you know the answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny go ahead and pray i release my faith as one sent i release my faith by the spirit of grace go ahead and pray remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will this is why we pray with confidence for the Bible says this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will we know that he hears us please go ahead and pray receive manifest receive manifest receive manifest receive keep praying manifest receive manifest receive manifest his power his wisdom his power his wisdom Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Lord, we receive answers outside, inside, across the nations of the earth. We receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the Living God. Answers of wisdom, answers of favor, answers of restoration, answers of speed, answers of establishment, answers of fruitfulness, answers of breakthroughs, answers of higher realms, answers of superior dimensions, answers of open doors, answers of open gates, answers of open heavens, in the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me, in the name of Jesus, for the remaining months of this year, may my God, who is also your God, do a speedy walk in your life. Do a speedy walk in your life, a speedy walk in your career, a speedy walk in this nation, a speedy walk in your family in the name of Jesus Christ I pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ I tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace 
that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it i pray for you all the time and i release many graces but let me just do one i will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you i am a beneficiary of this grace i know what it can do therefore i pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being close that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports i see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact I stand and I call upon the God who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of Jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh I decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week this week, this week, this week, this week, this week, this week, in the name of Jesus Christ. Where they rejected you, let this grace rest upon you, go back again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, Koinonia. Any man who fights you beginning from today, on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a god of vengeance may he arise for you as a god of vengeance in the name of jesus christ my Bible says, now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ. I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized, but to be rewarded to match your true worth. I want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded, but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually, spiritually, and otherwise. In the name of Jesus, may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of this favor. When Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again, there was a compensation system for Jacob. It was Jacob that gave birth to Joseph and one Joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever. Became a prime minister in Egypt and reigned, preserved God's people till he died. I'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon 
cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you <laughs> mama look at me i want to pray for you i'm not a prophet of doom but i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you inside a coffin and the lord is saying to bring you out of there i use mama as a point of contact anyone who has been buried in the spirit that is only a matter of time believe me i know what i'm seeing that makes me say what i'm saying in the name of jesus anyone who has been buried in the spirit i declare come out of that demonic coffin now come out of that demonic coffin now help my mother i stretch my hands mama in the name that is above all names you will not die hence god has brought you here tonight we forbid you from untimely death breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life breathe lord breathe breathe lord Says, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Now listen, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted, say, exalted, 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 exalted. Is a prayer. Will you breathe, Lord? Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus, lift it up, glorify, breathe, Lord, say, breathe, Lord, breathe. Yeah.
exalted, 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 lifted up, lifted up, lifted up, lifted up, exalted, 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 exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. That's your prayer now. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Shema Salia Barada. Sing, breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Turn it into a prayer tonight. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Jesus, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive and manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus. Lift it up One last time now Say breathe Lord Breathe Lord Breathe Breathe Lord Breathe Breathe Upon my life Say breathe Lord Breathe Lord Breathe Breathe Lord You're exalted Exalted, lifted up, exalted, 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 exalted. Now I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names. There are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now. I decree and declare, I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly. Father, you gave me this song by the Spirit. And you said upon singing it, the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies. Therefore, I stretch my hands at the count of three. May this fountain break open. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Bring them out. Take that grace now.
exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations bring them out. See Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe upon my heart. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down. I want you to bring them out. As God breathes right now, some of you, a physical wind will blow towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every ordinance of darkness must give way now. Satan, by the breath of the Spirit, let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Bring them out. Shalakapos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now, be released now. Be released now! Be released now! Belama shabakas kobarakosiata, egra kapas kalika parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released. Rest upon you now. May that grace rest. 
rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power. His wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please, I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick walk. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing the name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby Gabriel I will pray for you father I stretch my hands I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you this is not to these guys I'm here I don't know what was taken from you but the Lord is saying I should prophesy therefore I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing it returns now 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 Hosea I stretch my hands every demonic thing that has tied your family i'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of hosea and the lord is saying i should avert that spirit because it comes in cycles it will come then it will stay the help them please then it will come back again i stand by this mantle tonight and i decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the christ let it leave the family of hosea now let it leave the family of hosea now That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus for that lawyer. Captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times. Just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of babies. Listen. And the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness. People
people that have been trusting God for children for a long time I want you to know that this is your prophetic word it's not a song it's not a song are you ready now breathe Lord breathe say breathe Lord breathe breathe upon my life breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord trusting God for the fruit of the womb lay your hands whether for you or for someone you can stand for someone you are a man you can stand for your wife I want to make this declaration God does not lie in the name of Jesus the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft my God I'm just seeing fire burning things that look like threads in the name of Jesus Christ at the instruction of the spirit I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe, all those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now is an impartation of the grace for teaching a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace this is not for everybody I don't know why God would interrupt the thing like this but I stretch my hands the grace of a teacher may that grace rest upon you right now the grace of a teacher may that anointing mantle you wherever you are you are a man of God here, I decree and declare the capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer even praying in the spirit when we begin to pray in the spirit you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish you are giving the holy spirit room to search the mind of the father and he will bring to you this is how this song came this is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the spirit i want to declare there is a baptism that god wants to do now is a baptism of fire that will help men pray until they receive wisdom in the place of prayer father i don't know where they are but from the north to the south east to the west all over this auditorium there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the spirit the grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? We're going to take a few minutes and please give your destiny an undivided attention as you pray. Do not allow the devil distract you. Forget about whatever bills, whatever issues. And let us join in prayer. The fervent, effectual prayer. There is such a description to prayer. As fervent and effectual of the righteous man availed much. Are you ready to pray? Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever position you find comfortable, just make sure you pray. Just make sure you pray. Shalima Rasko Branda Katapratike de Belekatosia.
Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Alanda shalaka ta preska di la kaparuyas. Ebreka de belaka tos kati branda shalaka da balaka tos. Pray. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue and defieth himself, and defieth himself. Shana makata paratas kata branda ke paratoshiata. Ebra kosh kati la parianda preska di balasia da bakatosh. carefully please we are praying now in John chapter 10 and verse 10 Jesus was teaching and he made a very profound statement he called Satan the thief he says the thief cometh not except to steal to kill and to destroy are we together so he reveals to us that Satan can steal satan can kill and satan can destroy now let me connect it to a mystery and then we'll pray in matthew chapter 21 please give us verse 13. matthew 21 and verse 13. this was when jesus came into the temple when he came into the temple the bible says he met people doing business within the temple is that true they were exchanging in the temple and he was angry and the bible says he began to whip them there were a few people there called money changers their job was to exchange you would bring something and they would exchange all that was happening in the temple so when jesus came he threw everything down and he made a statement that will be our prayer point now he said my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves listen carefully do you know what he's saying he's saying at every point his house is one of two things either a house of prayer or a place where thieves are carrying out exchanges and that house is you you that temple of the holy ghost he said at every point in your life you are either a house of prayer or there are exchanges going through in your life my house shall be called a house a temple of prayer failure to be a temple of prayer it was lack of prayer in the temple 
that gave access for exchangers exchangers of destiny exchangers of all kinds of things is someone ready to pray i'd like you to pray and find that house back to a place of prayer my house this temple is a house of prayer that means the ministry of the thief should not find expression in my house the ministry of sickness and infirmity should not find expression in me because this house is a house of prayer Pray, pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. My house shall become a house of prayer. Satan, you have no authority to steal from this house, to kill from this house, to destroy this house, because it is a house of prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in this prayer that you are praying. You are not wasting your time. Something is happening to you. Acts chapter 28. Acts chapter 28. In Jesus name now please listen let me establish another prayer point in Acts chapter 28 when you read from verse 1 and down to 6 the Bible says when Paul had escaped the storm remember an angel appeared to him and he told them there shall be no loss and the Bible says they went safely and arrived at an island called Melita now verse 2 28 verse 2 the bible says when the locals he calls them the barbarians the people showed them kindness watch this now paul was about to reveal something that the people did not have the discernment to see the bible says there was a viper hiding in the wood a viper a venomous snake that could it it could it could bite you and even kill you how did it hide that those who brought down the wood did not see it and they put everything together and while they sat down there as soon as the wood was on fire the viper that was hiding there suddenly became exposed if fire was not there the viper will still hide in the wood and you will not know that you are living with an enemy but as soon as fire was lit the fire exposed the viper listen can i tell you i know this about the prayer ministry there are things that you may never understand occurrences and happenings of demon spirits it takes generating energy in the spirit and suddenly you will begin to see that the things you could not understand are now making sense why, why, why am i receiving all these assaults from the place of work what is this when my promotion is coming in the place of prayer fire can expose the viper fire can expose the viper lift your voice and pray pray with this understanding that everything that attempts to impede the purposes of God in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost the fire that comes in this prayer the fire expose the viper the fire expose the cause of your pain the fire expose the cause of the delays the fire expose the cause of the disfavor the fire expose the cause of the antagonisms 
Sada Becatos, Embratek Batos Koto Pretekeliata, Embrike Tebros Kosoto Berekati Alabakatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is God helping us? Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43. Jesus taught us a very deep mystery. Jesus was teaching on the activity of spirits. And he said, when an unclean spirit, listen carefully, is gone out of a man, that it walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Next verse. The Bible says, then it will say, I will return to what? The man is free, but as far as the spirit is concerned, it is his house. And he says, I will return to my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he will find it empty. He will find it swept. He will find it garnished. Last verse, the Bible says, he goeth and take it with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they will enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than let me explain something to you listen it takes a man anointed by god with spiritual understanding to cast out a demon out of another do we agree on that and then the Bible tells us something serious that that spirit goes to the desert and when it goes to the desert where there is no man to cast it by itself there is a condition in the desert that makes that spirit uncomfortable and it will prefer to come back and fight with that man a desert is a place of extreme heat and that when that spirit goes to that place in the presence of that extreme heat the spirit by itself with no one to cast it becomes uncomfortable that means when your body becomes like that desert when your life becomes like that desert that the spirit becomes uncomfortable because the desert is a place of heat the bible says he maketh his ministers his angels Can I tell you this? Listen, you don't know how cheap Satan is until you pray. Satan is as powerful as your prayerlessness makes him become. That a spirit in a human body will require a man anointed by the Holy Ghost to get it out. But it goes to a desert where there's no preacher, no keyboard, no drums, no choir, no protocol. The heat in the desert will cast it back and it will come to stay in someone else. That means when you become in the similitude of the heat of that desert, your life and everything around you becomes a no-go zone for any operation of demon spirits is someone ready to pray you are praying with this understanding that i am praying to become in experience a flame of fire lift your voice and pray a flame of fire a flame of fire a flame of fire a flame of fire, a flame of fire. A flame of fire.
Rosiata. Don't be tired. Make sure you're praying. He brados koto prakete brados kate brende katele koto siya. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Very powerful scripture. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Is it projected? Can you see it? Can we read it together? Want to read? Wherefore we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Hold on. Wherefore your favor would have arrived since. Wherefore your lifting. Wherefore your destiny helper would have arrived he said i tried once and again but satan listen i understand this scripture very very well let me tell you a story and then we'll pray sir i don't know how many years now i was praying one night true story and then my my ceiling suddenly disappeared in that vision and then i'm seeing this creature and it is looking at me having eyes that are as big as a human head i'm not exaggerating it looked like a dinosaur and it was looking at me red eyes and then it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it and it would still be alive and he was looking at me with fierce anger and he made a statement he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was a statement but satan hindered us you will you will be amazed to know how many things would have been easy for you but satan hindered us now listen let me tell you this even though it happened with jesus i want to explain something to you the centurion in one of the synoptic accounts pleaded with jesus to come and rescue their child from dying remember that story while jesus was on his way going another woman interrupted him and said please i have an issue of blood and he focused and was dealing with her issue by the time he was done in one of the synoptic accounts they said this other person had died timing matters in destiny hear me it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins if the bridegroom came early all the ten they were all virgins the delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five they all started well but the bridegroom was late i want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance i desire to come to you once and again only god knows how many things in abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you they have tried they tried in 2019 they tried in 2020 Lift your voice and pray with understanding. I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb. Paros kates kote mashata. Open doors that should have come. Lift things that should have come. Answers to prayer that should have come. Sadebrekato prosko to pariyata badan doshade, ebrekato 
Results you will get from this prayer. Believe me. Now listen. Once upon a time in Bible days, there was a criminal called Barabbas. Listen carefully. Many of you will be surprised. The reason and the explanation for disfavor around your life. There was a criminal called Barabbas who had been troubling the people and they apprehended him and, and kept him. And then one time when they caught Jesus also, listen to me, Pontius Pilate brought Jesus to stand and brought Barabbas to stand. And they asked the people, who do you want to be crucified and who should be released? There was a spirit that came upon the people and they looked at Jesus and said, this is the one to crucify and release the criminal. How do you in your right mind release a criminal so don't be surprised that there can be four people in the office who are supposed to be promoted and in spite of your capacity that there is an orchestration of darkness where good can be called evil and evil can be called good he said do not allow your good to be evil spoken of that means if you keep quiet and you don't pray you can be doing good but a perception can come on your good and it will be seen as evil are you ready to pray open your mouth and decree and declare my good will be rewarded as good my good will never be evil spoken of Barabbas should never be released a criminal in the stead of a righteous man. Please pray. your good be evil spoken of do not let your good be evil spoken of oh man of god oh businessman oh career person contend in prayer do not allow your good to be misrepresented hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Jesus, I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down, I want you to bring them out. As God preached right now, some of you, a physical wind will blow towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every ordinance of darkness must give way now. Satan, by the breath of the Spirit, let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Bring them out. Shalakatos. I 
ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now, be released now. Be released now! Be released now! Bela mashaba kasko barakosiata, egra kapaska lika parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinoni, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released. I want you to be sensitive God is doing a quick walk is there someone called Gabriel very quickly I want to speak to you and then I'm hearing the name Hosea who is Hosea H-O-S-E-A I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front there is an impartation that is happening who is Hosea your name is Hosea 
Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea. And the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in cycles. It will come, then it will stay. Then help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus for that lawyer. Captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times, just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll walk with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of babies. Listen, and the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness. People that have been trusting God for children for a long time. I want you to know that this is your prophetic word. It's not a song. It's not a song. Are you ready now? Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Say. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. For the last time now, say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Lay your hands, whether for you or for someone, you can stand for someone. You are a man, you can stand for your wife. I want to make this declaration. God does not lie. In the name of Jesus, the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft. My God, I'm just seeing fire. Burning things that look like threads. In the name of Jesus Christ, at the instruction of the Spirit, I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe. All those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle children. 
Receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now. Is an impartation of the grace for teaching. A prophetic dimension of the teaching grace. This is not for everybody. I don't know why God would interrupt the thing like this. But I stretch my hands. The grace of a teacher. May that grace rest upon you. Right now, the grace of a teacher. May that anointing mantle you. Wherever you are. You are a man of God here. I decree and declare. The capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer, even praying in the spirit. When we begin to pray in the spirit, you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish. You are giving the Holy Spirit room to search the mind of the Father. And He will bring to you. This is how this song came. This is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the Spirit. I want to declare there is a baptism that God wants to do now. It's a baptism of fire. That will help men pray until they receive wisdom in the place of prayer. Father, I don't know where they are. But from the north to the south, east to the west, all over this auditorium, there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the Spirit. The grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? We're going to take a few minutes and please give your destiny an undivided attention as you pray. Do not allow the devil distract you. Forget about whatever bills, whatever issues and let us join in prayer. The fervent, effectual prayer there is such a description to prayer as fervent and effectual of the righteous man availed much. Are you ready to pray? Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever position you find comfortable, just make sure you pray. Just make sure you pray. Shalima Rasko Branda Katabra de Gedebele Katosia Shapakato Sata Branda Gedebala Kosia Tabalandasia. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Mante Kaparatas Katabra de Gele Katosia Tabahashia. Zapras kateras kadabalanta barantes kadebaliata. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Alanda salakata preskati lakaparias. Pray, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue and defieth himself, and defieth himself. Shana makata paratas kata brenda ke paratoshiata. Ebra kosh kati la parianda preske di balasia tabakatosh. Shimanekatebaria Katush, 
Rakatos, Imbracatus, Nadira Sabalakata, Lake Rose, Lake Tebrandos, Kotoba, the Koshiga de Belagada, Siberia Sabarata Katabranda Katabalakatosia, Imbricate Parus, Katila Kaparus, and the Gade Belagatos. Carefully, please. We are praying now. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, Jesus was teaching and he made a very profound statement. He called Satan the thief. He says, The thief cometh not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Are we together? So he reveals to us that Satan can steal satan can kill and satan can destroy now let me connect it to a mystery and then we'll pray in matthew chapter 21 please give us verse 13. matthew 21 and verse 13. this was when jesus came into the temple when he came into the temple the bible says he met people doing business within the temple is that true they were exchanging in the temple and he was angry and the bible says he began to whip them there were a few people there called money changers their job was to exchange you would bring something and they would exchange all that was happening in the temple so when jesus came he threw everything down and he made a statement that will be our prayer point now he said my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves listen carefully do you know what he's saying he's saying at every point his house is one of two things either a house of prayer or a place where thieves are carrying out exchanges and that house is you you that temple of the holy ghost he said at every point in your life you are either a house of prayer or there are exchanges going through in your life my house shall be called a house a temple of prayer failure to be a temple of prayer it was lack of prayer in the temple that gave access for exchangers exchangers of destiny exchangers of all kinds of things is someone ready to pray i'd like you to pray and find that house back to a place of prayer my house this temple is a house of prayer that means the ministry of the thief should not find expression in my house the ministry of sickness and infirmity should not find expression in me because this house is a house of prayer Pray, pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. My house shall become a house of prayer. Satan, you have no authority to steal from this house, to kill from this house, to destroy this house, because it is a house of prayer. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in this prayer that you are praying. You are not wasting your time. Something is happening to you. Acts chapter 28. Acts chapter 28. In Jesus' name. Now please listen, let me establish another prayer point. In Acts chapter 28, when you read from verse 1 and down to 6, the Bible says, when Paul had escaped the storm, remember, an angel appeared to him and he told them there shall be no loss. And the Bible says they went safely and arrived at an island called Melita. Now verse 2. 28 verse 2 the bible says when the locals he calls them the barbarians the people showed them kindness watch this now paul was about to reveal something that the people did not have the discernment to see the bible says there was a viper hiding in the wood a viper a venomous snake that could it it could it could bite you and even kill you how did it hide that those who brought down the wood did not see it and they put everything together and while they sat down there as soon as the wood was on fire the viper that was hiding there suddenly became exposed if fire was not there the viper will still hide in the wood and you will not know that you are living with an enemy but as soon as fire was lit the fire exposed the viper listen can i tell you i know this about the prayer ministry there are things that you may never understand occurrences and happenings of demon spirits it takes generating energy in the spirit and suddenly you will begin to see that the things you could not understand are now making sense why, why, why am i receiving all these assaults from the place of work what is this when my promotion is coming in the place of prayer fire can expose the viper fire can expose the viper lift your voice and pray pray with this understanding that everything that attempts to impede the purposes of God in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost the fire that comes in this prayer the fire expose the viper the fire expose the cause of your pain the fire expose the cause of the delays the fire expose the cause of the disfavor the fire expose the cause of the antagonisms Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Shabra katos koto bretegata. Lekata braska de shakata berekotos. Embrekatos. Eka shakata beretos keniata kasa. Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus is God helping us Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43 Jesus taught us a very deep mystery Jesus was teaching on the activity of spirits and he said when an unclean spirit listen carefully is gone out of a man that it walked through dry places seeking rest and finding none next verse the bible says then it will say i will return to what the man is free but as far as 
the spirit is concerned it is his house and he says i will return to my house from whence i came out and when he is come he will find it empty he will find it swept he will find it garnished last verse the bible says he goeth and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they will enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than let me explain something to you listen it takes a man anointed by god with spiritual understanding to cast out a demon out of another do we agree on that and then the bible tells us something serious that that spirit goes to the desert and when it goes to the desert where there is no man to cast it by itself there is a condition in the desert that makes that spirit uncomfortable and it will prefer to come back and fight with that man a desert is a place of extreme heat and that when that spirit goes to that place in the presence of that extreme heat the spirit by itself with no one to cast it becomes uncomfortable that means when your body becomes like that desert when your life becomes like that desert that the spirit becomes uncomfortable because the desert is a place of heat the bible says he maketh his ministers his angels can i tell you this listen you don't know how cheap satan is until you pray satan is as powerful as your prayerlessness makes him become that a spirit in a human body will require a man anointed by the holy ghost to get it out but it goes to a desert where there's no preacher no keyboard no drums no choir no protocol the heat in the desert will cast it back and it will come to stay in someone else that means when you become in the similitude of the heat of that desert your life and everything around you becomes a no-go zone for any operation of demon spirits is someone ready to pray you are praying with this understanding that i am praying to become in experience a flame of fire lift your voice and pray a flame of fire a flame of fire a flame of fire Saneka paroto soto koto mariata A flame of fire A flame of fire Don't be tired, make sure you're praying. He brought us to the bracket, but I don't stand the bread negatively. Go to see you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, first Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Very powerful scripture. First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Is it projected? Can you see it? Can we read it together? One to read. Wherefore we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Hold on. Wherefore your favor would have arrived since. Wherefore your lifting. Wherefore your destiny helper would have arrived he said i tried once and again but 
of Satan. Listen, I understand this scripture very, very well. Let me tell you a story and then we'll pray. Sir, I don't know how many years now. I was praying one night, true story. And then my, my ceiling suddenly disappeared in that vision. And then I'm seeing this creature. And it is looking at me, having eyes that are as big as a human head. I'm not exaggerating. It looked like a dinosaur. And it was looking at me, red eyes. And then it had a tail. The tail had its own life. You could detach it and it would still be alive. And it was looking at me with fierce anger. And he made a statement. He says, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance. That was a statement. But Satan hindered us. You will, you will be amazed to know how many things would have been easy for you. But Satan hindered us. Now listen, let me tell you this. Even though it happened with Jesus, I want to explain something to you. The centurion in one of the synoptic accounts pleaded with Jesus to come and rescue their child from dying. Remember that story? While Jesus was on his way going, another woman interrupted him and said, please, I have an issue of blood. And he focused and was dealing with her issue. By the time he was done, in one of the synoptic accounts, they said this other person had died. Timing matters in destiny. Hear me. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins. If the bridegroom came early, all the ten, they were all virgins. The delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five. They all started well, but the bridegroom was late. I want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance I desire to come to you once and again. Only God knows how many things in Abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you. They have tried. They tried in 2019. They tried in 2020. Lift your voice and pray with understanding. I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb. Paros Kates Kote Mashata. Open doors that should have come. Lift things that should have come. Answers to prayer that should have come. you will get from this prayer believe me now listen 
once upon a time in bible days there was a criminal called barabbas listen carefully many of you will be surprised the reason and the explanation for disfavor around your life there was a criminal called barabbas who had been troubling the people and they apprehended him and, and kept him and then one time when they caught jesus also listen to me pontius pilate brought jesus to stand and brought barabbas to stand and they asked the people who do you want to be crucified and who should be released there was a spirit that came upon the people and they looked at jesus and said this is the one to crucify and release the criminal how do you in your right mind release a criminal so don't be surprised that there can be four people in the office who are supposed to be promoted and in spite of your capacity that there is an orchestration of darkness where good can be called evil and evil can be called good he said do not allow your good to be even spoken of that means if you keep quiet and you don't pray you can be doing good but a perception can come on your good and it will be seen as evil are you ready to pray open your mouth and decree and declare my good will be rewarded as good my good will never be even spoken of Barabbas should never be released a criminal in the stead of a righteous man please pray your good be evil spoken of do not let your good be evil spoken of oh man of god oh businessman oh career person contend in prayer do not allow your good to be misrepresented hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.